Standpipes are just one small part of fire protection and suppression methods. Do you know what they are? In this video, we'll cover the basics that you need to know. Standpipes are basically an extension of the fire hydrant system. There are a series of pipes that connect the water supply to hose connections inside a building for building occupants or the fire department. They're most common in large or multi-story buildings. Imagine if you were fighting a fire in a multi-story building without standpipes. Now you have to connect the hose at the fire hydrant on the street and drag the hose filled with water from the street into the building and up flights and flights of stairs. This is tiring before the hard work of putting out the fire even begins. It can be a hazard when trying to maneuver through a smoky building. Not to mention, most fire hoses aren't even long enough to travel such a distance. This is why we have standpipes. The firefighters can easily carry a rolled up hose into the building and connect it at any of the standpipes on the various floors to begin putting out the fire. There are three types of standpipes that you should know about. Class one is also known as the dry standpipe. This class is intended for firefighting personnel only. They're required in malls and buildings over three stories and are equipped with a two and a half inch hose connection. You'll notice they do not provide a hose, just the connection for the firefighters to connect their own hose to. Class two is also known as the wet standpipe. This class is intended for building occupants to use as a first aid before the fire department arrives at the scene. It's equipped with a hose and a one and a half inch connection to attach it to. These are not as popular anymore, but can still be found in large unsprinkler buildings or stages. Class three combines the features of both class one and class two standpipes, providing a one and a half inch connection and a hose for building occupants, as well as a two and a half inch connection for fire department use. That's all there is to it. Now you know all about standpipes. You can find a cheat sheet on everything we covered here on our website. The link is in the description below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss new videos. See you next time. If you want to see more ARE study help, practice questions, explanations, and tips for aspiring architects, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And check out our website, linked in the description below. You'll find full-length practice exams, our blog for aspiring architects, and our free ARE playbook.